Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Beloved, you are welcome on the show. God's word for today. This message is brought to you this and every Sunday. Keep watching and keep sharing and your life will never be the same. Let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercies and your power upon our life. Amen. Beloved, I've come to encourage you in the word of God. You can watch us live on our Facebook page, GH Ashton TV, on all the social handles, Ashton TV, and you'll be a blessing to others. Today I've entitled the message, How Shall This Be? How Shall This Be? It is a question, most at times, because of the limitation of man. Man compared his limitations to the promise of God upon his life and conclude by saying, how can this be? How can this be? So, a believer is having a word of God upon his life that this is the agenda of God for your life. He looks at his physical strength, his money he's having, the relationship he has, and where he's born and where he is now, and conclude by saying, how can this be? That is the question of many people. Forgetting that with God, all things are possible. You are not the first person to ask this question. In the book of Luke chapter 1, verse number 34, Mary the Virgin encountered angel Gabriel, and Gabriel said to Mary, Mary, you are going to conceive and have a child and he will be named Jesus for he will deliver his people. And Mary looked at the angel and said, how can this be? Because in the mind of Virgin Mary, he thought, if God is about to give us a savior, why not from Rome that time? Or even if it will be in the land of Israel, why not from Jerusalem, Judea or Samaria, but Nazareth? And from me, Virgin Mary, because I'm not the only virgin in town. We have people in the king's palace. We have people in the high priest home. Why me, Virgin Mary? And at the end of it all, I'm a virgin I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a husband. How can this be? That is the question of many people. They ask themselves, how can I get married? Even as I'm 40 years, how can I finish my education? How can I pass this exams? How can I bring forth children? How can I prosper in life? How can I make it? How can I do this? How can I do that? That is the question of Mary. How can this be? But I came to you with a sure word from God that will answer you. And that was the word that the angel said to Mary. Luke chapter 1, verse number 34 to 35. And the angel said to Mary, The Spirit of the Most High will come upon you. And also the power of the Most High will come and overshadow you. Two things he said to Mary. That what will make what seems impossible to you possible is that the Spirit of God will come upon you and to the power of the Most High Jehovah will come and overshadow you to come and envelop you and when these two things come upon you whatever seems impossible in your life will be possible I come to encourage you I don't know what you are going through I don't know the question that you're asking yourself, but I'm telling you that if the power of the Most High come upon you, you'll be able to pass your exams. You'll be able to get married. You'll be able to bring forth children. The business will begin to grow again. You'll get married and everything will be wonderful. Because with God, all things are possible. When the Spirit of God comes upon you, you become a new person. The Bible said, when the Spirit of God 
came upon Saul. He turned to be a new person. What he couldn't do before with the natural body, with that ability, now because of the Spirit of God, he was able to do it perfectly. Some men of God who were in the Bible, who received the strength and the power of the Most High, who did marvelous things, one of them was young boy David. At the age of 16 years thereabout, he met Goliath, who was a well-known champion. 16-year-old boy with no experience, with nothing but with God and with the power of God. He said, I know what God can do and I trust in God and it seems impossible in the flesh, but my trust and my hope is in God and I'll be able to do it. Let's put our trust, our hope, our strength in God. Some run to horses and some in chariots. Some believe in their self, some believe in their bow, some believe in their own, some believe in their connection, some believe in government. But if you will not believe in any of these things and you believe in God, we will be able to kill any Goliath in our life. I don't know what you are battling with now, but when God comes to you, any Goliath in your life will leave. Gideon was able to conquer over 136,000 people with just only 300 people with the face of God. Obedidom was blessed and increased beyond measure within some few months because the act of God, which was the presence of God, came to his house. If the hand of God comes upon you, if the presence of God comes upon you, if the strength of the Most High comes to envelop you, no battle that you will fail. You will win every battle in life and you become more victorious. I encourage you to believe in the strength of God and I pray that may the strength of God be your portion. May the hand of God be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I'm your pastor and your brother, Richmond Ozu Safo. Share and bless others and your life will never be the same. Bye-bye.